Yo, what is up guys, your boy Sisway Chia bring you guys a tour on how to use spline wrap or basically how to curve capsules and all that cool stuff as you see in inside modeling and probably you see like regular capsules curved in weird ways to like detail the designer's model or render or whatever. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's pretty simple, it's really quick, so uh, yeah, stay tuned. So we're gonna go ahead and delete the one I did and I already have a nice little capsule already made for us and uh, ready to get going. So uh, basically what you want to do is you want to go to freehand spline, you just want to click on it and that's the first one so you can just click on the tab and I'm actually get off of that because it's gonna annoy me alright so now I just wanna go to freehand and then you just wanna kinda sorta wherever you wanna uh, make the curve let's say if you wanna make it here you would make it here but I'm gonna make it right on the uh, inside of the dare logo so I'm gonna kinda sorta do this and as you can see that's pretty good so that's my first try and uh, yeah it's pretty hard because usually it's gonna be like all oh, like this on your first attempt if you suck at freehand you know it's gonna be weird but uh, you just want to be as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect because it doesn't really matter. But let's say if you don't, you know, you know, you're super OCD or whatever it is, where you want to have it like perfectly straight, you can use the arc. Uh, I advise you to just use this in the start. But I mean, this freehand is you know quick and easy, and you just have to. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if you care for it to be perfect, all you have to do is you know click on the arc. Uh, it's in the same spline thing. You just want to click on the arc and then scale it down, and then you can just move it to wherever you want to move it to and then make sure like the spline is in front of the logo like so and then you can just like manipulate it just so it's in your place that it you want it to be or whatever but you know I don't advise this this is just too much work I mean I could have used this but you know it's simple and easy freehand it's quick and it's simple it doesn't have to be perfect for the finishing product anyways so as you can see I have this here and I move that in front of my logo because you should be doing that and uh, yeah, we're ready to go it's actually pretty off so I'm actually gonna make it a little bit more smaller just like that better a little bit better I don't know but like I said you don't have to be perfect so uh, don't waste your time all like I am I'm probably gonna shrink it a little bit and there we go so now you wanna go to your bend tab right here and then you wanna go to spline wrap and then whatever capsule or whatever you're using as your solid object you wanna wrap you just wanna drag the spline wrap into it make sure the arrow is pointing down and then you just wanna click on the spline wrap and then you want to go to object and then you see this spline layer thing right here you want to drag the spline that you made uh, your freehand spline or your arc or whatever you have and then drag it into here and then you want to change your axis to plus x I mean plus y it's already on plus x I forgot to tell you that and uh, all you gotta do is change your axis to plus y from plus x and then you're already set and then let's say if you you know you did your capsule and it looks like this it doesn't look uh, it looks kinda like squished together you can just uh, you know go on your solid object that you have that the spline wrap is inside of and then you just want to go ahead and click on the scale tool and shrink it a little bit and when you shrink it it will like you know unsquish your uh, solid you know uh, object or whatever you're using your solid capsule or whatever you're using you just shrink it and it will just change it and make it you know better so there you go now it's better like quality I can say I guess it's better quality there's the word I'm kinda sorta looking for so yeah it's simple and easy and then you know you don't have to use like the modeling style you can just use regular capsules skinny little capsules and do this and uh, let's say you know before you guys run into trouble and you guys trying to like uh, uh, duplicate the same one you can't just duplicate this and then you know move it cause then that's this is still kinda sorta what this is attached to is attached to this spline only so let's say if you were you know you're done and then you know you have these two separate and they're gonna be separate but when you close down and you save you know cinema 4d or if you uh, try and render it out just like this it will you know sh like quickly go right back cuz it goes right back to whatever the spline that it's attached to so you know as you see here and if you start rendering out it will just like be right back to where it was and the same thing when you exit it out and you come back in this the uh, second one will just be attached to the same one. I don't know how to explain it any more than that. So what you gotta do is duplicate the same exact spline and move that one to where you want it and then drag the uh, the, the spline right back into where it is right here and then you would see that it will not move this time and then if you ever want to move it you don't move this because then like I said once you exit out or uh, try and render it it will just move right back to the spline so you gotta move the spline to wherever you want it not the solid object and then just move the spline only and it's super simple and super cool so uh, there you go that's uh, how I do it in my inside modeling and probably you probably see like capsules used in cool little designings inside the logos or whatever so uh, yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial and uh, if you have any uh, other tutorials you can request I will sure be able to try and do them if I care 
<laughs> not if I care if I choose to. Um, so yeah, so give a like, give a comment, all that good stuff, guys. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.